A very special visitor for some Connecticut kids today. First Lady Jill Biden stopping by this school there in Meriden. You hear the kids cheering along with Dr. Miguel Cardona. The new U.S. Education Secretary grew up there. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven at Benjamin Franklin Elementary School in Meriden. John, the whole town excited about this. Tell you better believe it. This whole sidewalk behind me was packed today. Yeah, they were excited to see the first lady. Who wouldn't be? But they were really excited to see Miguel Cardona, their hometown teacher, who's now in charge of the nation's schools. Hi, Jill. Hi. Hi. A humble hello from one of the most powerful women in America. First Lady Jill Biden stopped by Rachel Valentin's kindergarten class. I think I was more nervous because kindergarten is kindergarten. You know, you're just not sure what's going to happen from day to day. In Meriden, a huge crowd, but they weren't here just to see Biden. They wanted to see Dr. Miguel Cardona, the hometown teacher just sworn in as U.S. Education Secretary. We're so proud of you, Miguel, and good work. After the tour, Cardona said his top priority is reopening America's schools. Across the country, future Lin-Manuel Mirandas are sitting at home instead of going to the drama club. Like Miguel said, you know, teachers want to be back. We want to be back. But in other states, many teachers are pushing back. Our districts must unite. Our districts must unite. Here in Connecticut, some teachers initially protested. But at this school, 70% of the kids are already in class and another 200 are coming back this month. We have teams that you didn't even see getting ready. Our custodial staff, our clerical staff. Wait a minute, okay? I want to move to the As the first lady toured her class, Rachel Valentin wanted her to come away knowing one thing. Teachers are, are they want to be in the classroom and we can do this. And you know, vaccines are such a big part of that effort. Here in Connecticut, as you know, teachers started getting their shots this week. Here in Meriden, the first batch of 200 educators, they get their shots tomorrow. That's the latest here in Meriden tonight. John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.